Hey, it's Rich, and we're on the way to go shoot another episode of Abandoned, which you will see up on this YouTube channel very shortly. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, so you don't miss all the fun stuff that we do. But we're uh, we're driving toward the spot. We're 10 minutes from where we're going to shoot Abandoned, and I see something that I recognize like no other. Raise your hand if you've ever gone to Flashbacks Bar, State Street, downtown Binghamton. You probably saw that in the window <laughs> it's a little worse for wear right now but i saw this driving straight toward this hotel and i went what the it pulled right off of the parking lot and uh i'll show you some pictures here the floorboards are rusted out of it it's been smashed up i don't have any idea what happened to this of course and then i see a gentleman come walking our way and uh just so happens he was the owner of the hotel and the new owner of our beloved flashbacks beetle and uh, this is what he has to say about what happened to the car it was for sale and i bought the beetle i, I picked it up at a storage yard in scranton it was down there just a short ways from um walkers up there but on the business route six picked it up brought it up here and we began to use it we were going to open a bar here it was going to become advertising here <laughs> originally i was going to put it on the roof of the bar well the bar never happened because quite frankly the township here has never processed any of the permits the first accident occurred a year and a half ago it was a young man he drove in here, smashed into it. Everybody saw him do it. He then went back to visit apparently his brother. He had no driver's license. It was his girlfriend's car that he supposedly borrowed without permission. The second time, it was another young man, drunk out of his mind, came in here to pick up his friend, smashed into the back of the car this time. He then left here. They charged him on the da da damage to the car, but never made him pay for the damage here. And because they were both taken on permission, it was a criminal charge, the insurance companies refused to pay. So there it sits, and it's probably going to be replaced shortly by a reincarnation, but not the same car. All right, could you send me pictures of the reincarnation when you're done? I'll show you what the reincarnation looks like right now, even. Really? really? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Last time I saw the car, it looked like this, and it was over here at Ray's downtown. Uh, I went in and asked the guys about it, and they said that, you know, it was a little worse for wear and probably shouldn't be put on the road. I was thinking it would be really great to bring down here and put in parades and stuff because it was kind of a Binghamton icon. But in case you were wondering where that beetle went, it's sitting right outside that hotel. Looks like it's probably going to be taken to the crusher pretty soon. But I guess he's uh, looking to do a restoration on that blue one that we showed you as he was talking to you. And uh, maybe we can get him to bring it down here so we can take pictures of it. Or maybe we can go see the uh, the new reincarnation of our beloved Flashbacks Beetle. So anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. A little abandoned extra for you there that we found on the way. Stay right here. You are going to see a brand brand new episode of Abandoned on this YouTube channel as soon as I can get the darned thing edited. Subscribe, will ya? Here's the link.